So Starfield's finally released and there's lots of videos out there and you can't decide what's important and what you can save for later. Well, today we're gonna talk about some of the 10 tips you can do on day one of playing Starfield. When you join Constellation, you'll get a lodge key. Take this key to the downstairs basement, make a couple of turns and you're gonna see a mannequin with a suit of Mark I armor. It's a slim space suit compared to everything else that you've possibly seen so far and the stats on it are amazing which makes me think it was definitely meant for some later gameplay. But on day one, if you just position your cursor correctly, you can actually activate the mannequin and not the case itself, allowing you to equip all the nice treasures inside. Including a boost pack, which brings us to tip number two. When using the boost pack that you receive, you're gonna notice that after double tapping your jump button, you won't be able to glide, drift, or whatever you wanna call it, I guess boost. What you actually have to do is go into your skill points menu and use one skill point into boost pack training. Without this, you technically don't even know what you're doing, so the game doesn't let you. Put one point into there and you'll be able to glide for a short distance. Speaking of armors and boost packs, tip number three. In Starfield, you have a variety of different clothings you can wear your regular settlement clothing, your space suit, and a variety of hats and helmets. To increase your immersion level in the game, you can select your helmet to be on or off in breathable air, your space suit to be on or off in settlements, and then of course your settlement clothing will just show that. Speaking of showing and hiding, in the stealth tree, once you activate your first rank, you'll actually get your stealth meter. And then a little side tip aside from that is when you have companions, you might want to let them sit in the room before where you want to do your stealth stuff because they're just not that very good at it and they will get you caught. Speaking of companions, if you were wondering, they will hold your gear even if you dismiss them. You want to be very careful for a quest when you're working with Ed E that you want to make sure that you get all your things before you send him off. You'll know when you know. Starfield seems to have a lot of clutter. Not everything that you see is important. As usual with Bethesda games, there's just a lot of clutter around to make the game really seem populated. A good way to distinguish between items is to turn on your scanner. That way you can see what's clickable and what's okay, not and possibly what's trash and miscellaneous stuff. Yeah. Instead of lockpicks, they're called digipicks. And these are digital lockpicks that can be used to open various boxes and safes. The trick is to line up each hole with the corresponding digipick and you don't have to do it in order as in the first pattern, second pattern, third. You can move from each pattern and kind of line it all up before selecting A and committing to where all your positions are. Question is, what are you gonna do with all these items that you find around? Tip number eight is that if you go into the cockpit of your ship, go into your inventory, you can actually switch into the cargo hold. This is a great spot to put all your extra materials so that way you're not over encumbered. Tip number nine or eight and a half, you know, somewhere in there. When you first land in New Atlas, you're gonna meet a ship hand and he's also gonna tell you about a kiosk next to him that'll allow you to sell things. When you use one of these selling kiosks, you can actually switch to sell items from your ship. So it's not like you have to go pull everything out and then walk to a kiosk. It's pretty helpful. Our final tip for Starfield is for our melee weapon users. Instead of using your regular melee button, mine is B because I play on tactical, but instead of using your melee button, use the firing button instead. This will conserve oxygen while still letting you use your melee weapon. Much more Starfield gameplay tips, guides, and lore on the way. Be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment so that way we can get this baby going. Much love and be safe out there.